Good evening. This is Thames Valley Tonight. Our main stories this evening. Job gloom, unemployment on the rise and more redundancies across the region as the recession looms. I've sold food trucks. I've got one left. There's just no business at the moment. And next year, I think it's going to be very, very bad. From country estate to housing estate, the stately home with big bills to pay. Plus, meet your new roommate. Why soldiers will be sharing their new flats with facts. Then later in tonight's programme. It costs £7 million pounds to restore over 15 years, but the Vulcan bomber could be about to make its last ever takeoff after just 12 public displays. And a voice for Sarah, the paralysed teenager who can now communicate again. To be able to say, Sarah, can you turn that music down? I mean, how incredible is that? I never thought I'd hear, hear myself saying that. I'm actually having an argument with Sarah. Good evening. The number of people out of work has reached the highest level for 11 years. Under the Thames Valley, hundreds of jobs are being lost as the recession looms. Yale, based in Berkshire, has revealed plans to cut staff numbers by more than 300. In Hampshire, employees of Virgin Media have been told to expect the worst, as the firm announced 2,000 job losses across the country. But it's not just the big... Big players, small businesses are also struggling, as Kate Cooney reports. The haulage business is slow for Kelvin Purcell. In the last year, he's had to lay off two of his drivers and sell three of his trucks. He's been in trade for more than 30 years, but this is the toughest time he's faced. I had four trucks last year, really going mad for Christmas rush. It's not happening. I've sold three trucks, I've got one left. There's just no business at the moment, and next year, I think it's going to be very, very bad. Elsewhere in Berkshire, there's more uncertainty. The Reading-based company Yell has said that it intends to cut up to 350 jobs 